Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's Excel tip comes to you about how to fix a corrupt spreadsheet. Now this is really one of the most useful Excel tips you're ever going to see. And it can save you hours of pain and frustration, or you think you've lost everything, or you, you, you can spend days trying to work out what a problem is. So the symptoms are your spreadsheet is behaving oddly. However, that is defined it's just behaving oddly maybe you can't see the sheet tabs or whatever it's it's just odd what you need to do is clean it clean it is essentially creating a new workbook and then bringing everything from the old workbook over to the new workbook now there's a safe way to do that if you want to follow along with this tip first thing you need to do is go to excelexperts.com and in the search the site, just type fix corrupt spreadsheet or corrupt spreadsheet. And this will get you to Excel tips number 73 on how to fix a corrupt spreadsheet. There's also lots of other useful training videos and systems. So here we are. First thing you need to do is to save your, your file as something else. Very important. Don't do work on your original file. So save your corrupt file, then save as something else. Alt F A and uh, give it a new name. The next thing you need to do is insert a worksheet. So Alt I W. So oh, I've actually inserted three worksheets there. Um, so the the reason you want to do this is because we're going to drag all of these worksheets over to a new workbook. And when you do that, you need one sheet left in the original workbook, otherwise it won't let you. So I'm going to then unmaximize the windows. So I, I went in the top right hand corner. Press Control N for a new workbook. There you go. Book three. Now this was the sheet I added, so I'm going to select all the other three sheets. I'm then going to click, hold, and drag them over to the new workbook. Boom. Notice they disappear from the old one. So if you were to save that now, it would save it without any data in it. So this one, notice because I already had sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, it renamed them. But that doesn't matter too much. We can name the sheets whatever we want. Let's try the button. Well, the button actually still works because it's calling the code from this spreadsheet, but we don't want it to do that. So let's press Alt F11 to bring up the VBA editor. And here's the code. So I'm going to click on this module, drag it into this VBA project, double check that it worked. Yes, it did. And on, on, um, on this one, I also had some code in this workbook. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm unable to drag that over. So I have to actually manually go in and copy this onto the This Workbook VBA project. So module easy, drag over. Anything in these, you need to co physically copy and paste it over. Actually, the sheet ones will probably come over. Then you need to have a look at the references. So go tools, references. If there's any references that are clicked on in the old spreadsheet that you need in the new spreadsheet for the VBA code to work properly, you need to find them and make sure that they're clicked on. Okay. Next thing you need to do is Alt F A, file save as, give it a new name. Book three is as good as any. And there you go. So that works. Testing, testing. Close this one. Don't save the changes. And hopefully this spreadsheet will now work as it, as it should have done before. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com. Any questions on this procedure, go to the website and ask on the forum. Thank you very much. Goodbye.